If you submit these plans to your health department for your food truck, you're probably gonna get approved. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how we do a blueprint. Do we need to do a professional or can anybody just do a blueprint? Let me show you guys how we get it done. Welcome to the DIY series, how to build your food truck. I'm Frank Baltierrez and what we've taken is an empty seven by 16 trailer and we're converting it into a mobile kitchen on wheels. On the past videos, we've started uh, everything from scratch. So if you're looking to get into the mobile food business and build one yourself or just get ideas on how can I improve the one that I have now, then the previous videos are probably something you should check out. If you're new to the channel, that's exactly what we're working on right now. We are on the plan reviews. I received a question on do I submit, how do I submit my plans? Do I have to get them professionally done or can I do it myself? But first, you have to check with your health department and see what they want. So I printed off our health department here in DuPage County. I'll show you guys exactly what they require. So here it is right here. The DuPage County Health Department is what we have here in the state of Illinois. And what they require, we're just going to cover this paper really quick, is they want a full set of plans. If you guys can see here, full set of plans, the equipment list, including method of installation, the menu, drawing of the photo, uh, what is it, and a plan review fee of $200. That's a one-time fee, $200, that they require. And then obviously every year you have to renew your license with the health department. And that can change depending on where you're at. And then any changes that you do from the plan today have to be uh, approved. So this is pretty much standard stuff that they want from you. Then they want the equipment list with us. Everything has to be NSF rated. They ding me on a couple things uh, because I didn't have some that were NSF. So just know that check with your health department make sure that's what they want so then they want a list of where you're gonna provide a detailed list of all the food to be sold on the mobile food truck and then they want the cold food hot food will the food be made ahead of time then if yes obviously you have to put that in there what items will be made at the commissary if you guys don't know what a commissary is we might cover that in a later video and then this is where i got my information for the plumbing which is exciting stuff that's coming up on the next videos and that's how i got my tank size they tell you exactly what they want there. But first, let's focus on this. They want a full set of plans. Gosh, what is that? That's exactly what I asked myself when I saw that. I was like, what is a full set of plans? So I went to the best research engine out there, which is Google, and I put in blueprints for food trucks. And you get a bunch of different schematics on there on uh, different things that they need. And then I contacted my health department and I said, do I need someone professional or can I do it myself? And here's the answer that I got. Let me show you guys. All right, so you guys ready to see this? Don't forget, really do use Google for any type of question that you have. Obviously, you can come and ask me here if you, um, if you want. I'm always available here in the comments. But Google is a really, really good engine, a search engine to be able to get different ideas on how to place stuff in your truck. That's exactly what I did. That's how I found my dimensions. And then I put it all together. I put little stickies on the floor and then I laid it out, right? As they call it, you lay it out on your food truck and then it made it all fit. This is the original. This is the most professional blueprint I have seen in my life. This is the original one that we submitted. And then we had to do a couple changes, but let me show you guys the original. And then we're going to draw one here live in person with you guys. So you guys can see how hard, how easy it is to do. Boom, there it is. This is the original blueprint that we submitted to the health department right here. 7x16 trailer. This was how the original layout was going to be. This was going to be a fridge, a glass door, because we were going to put like little um, uh, sodas and juices and whatnot there. This is going to be my prep table. We still have that though. This is my six foot hood that you guys saw installed on there. That, that's exactly what I have in mind, what you guys see in the food truck now. Two foot burner, three foot griddle. This is my sinks, five feet of sinks with two drain boards, 15 inch drain boards on each side. This right here is where my water heater is. And then my little water pump is right there. They don't ask you specifically what kind of water pump you're gonna use, but they do ask you the water heater. The hand sink, this was another one that they dinged me on the first time because the one I bought was too small. They really didn't have a measurement on there, but when they saw it, they didn't like it. And then here's my door for the food truck on the side right there. And there's a door on this side, but they don't need to see that. And then this does not, we did not put that in. There are no steam tables in there. The trash can is actually over here. And then we do have a food warmer right there. And then this is my window. 
they don't ask you to put where your propane tanks are going to be with the health department that's more of the fire department but that's how it looks that's how my original blueprint looks and now comes the exciting part let me show you guys how we drew it and uh, you can do it yourself just follow the instructions here and i'm almost 100 percent certain uh, unless your health department requires you to get a professional architect or professional drawer to do it then that's a different story i can't help you guys there but if you guys can get this part down then you should be able to get a nice blueprint to submit to your health department and then you can get it approved as long as you follow all their guidelines so let's get started with the drawing live and in person here with you guys So the hands that you guys saw in action there were the hands of my 14 year old daughter. She actually drew the plans that we submitted to the health department. It was my 14 year old daughter that, that drew those and I think she did a really, really good job. We made her do it one more time. That way uh, you guys can get the full action of exactly how we did it. And that pretty much can answer your question of do I need it professionally done or can anybody do it? My 14 year old daughter drew, this was the original the one that got submitted and this is exactly how my food truck looks now a couple minor changes like i mentioned to you guys um obviously i have a little trash can there the steam table right there is removed and now we have it right over here on this table it's an nsf rated uh, food warmer and then we have the griddles those don't change we have the sinks that doesn't change fire suppression system uh, actually it went just a little bit right on top of underneath the sink there then we have a little trash can right there. Water heater stayed the same, hand sink stayed the same. It was just a different dimension, but pretty much everything else was pretty standard. They they told me what they didn't want on this food truck from the health department when they did the plan review. That's why they do the plan review because they tell you, you know what, fix this, fix that. We like this, we don't like that. And this is what we came up with right here. So with that, that answers the question of do I need to have my plans drawn professionally or can anybody do them for me? Uh, for this one, like I mentioned, my 14 year old daughter drew mine that we submitted, but check with your health department because if they want something, like I mentioned, professionally done and submitted, then that's the route you're gonna have to take. There's nothing that we can really do about that. But if they don't ask for specifics, then you guys can do exactly what we did here in a 29 minute hyperlapse 29 second hyperlapse is exactly how we got it done so with that frank bolt here is with the diy series how to build your food truck we'll see you on the next videos where we go more into depth on the plumbing the gas and then we're going to install all the prep tables and the stainless steel tables on the food truck so with that we're out of here